بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبة في الله someone asked the question about how does shirk you know is there evidence to show not shirk but is there evidence to show that sinfulness disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh affects your seeking knowledge or it's an obstacle to seeking knowledge and no doubt there's lots of adilla from the adilla from the evidences is just when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says and mentions that verily the most God fearful from his servants is the ulama you know the ones who fear him the most the ones who have the most taqwa it's the ulama. It's the people of knowledge. Why? Because they have knowledge of the Book of Allah and knowledge of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah. So it shows us that there's a relationship between ilm and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and taqwa and the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there's so many ayat and ahadith to illustrate this. And so what we understand that the opposite, that disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and jahil, ignorance, is sinful and that sin likewise in turn is an obstacle to seeking knowledge and for those who have done you know sought knowledge they know this they know that those people that forgetfulness there is a relationship as some of the salaf mentioned imam uh, the narration with imam shafi and imam malik you know I believe the Imam Malik may have complained to Imam Shafi'i rahimahullah jami'an about being forgetful and he pointed out that you know sinfulness this is this is the cause but from the book there's also from the Quran and the Sunnah there's so much evidence to show the relationship between knowledge and practice and you know that this is going to be Prohibit. So, for example, the one who is, for one, from a perspective of logic, okay, aside from all the textual proofs, is that when you, for one, it will busy you. Sinfulness busies you. So the one who is tried with, for example, pornography, that means they will spend time putting that in their, and pornography has so much, is so in-depth, and its effects were only beginning to understand you know those who study those the effects of that sickness that illness that drug you know it's only beginning to be uncovered the effects of how it rewires your brain how it changes the outlook on life a person who is addicted to that cannot even see the opposite sex or the world in general through the same lens because it's everything sexualized hypersexualized with them and that alone takes away from your studies. That alone takes away from your memorization of the Quran. It blocks you as an obstacle. And it definitely blocks you as a mean of keeping what you've learned. So, for example, the one in the beginning of the stages of seeking knowledge, it will be a prohibitor and an obstacle for them to attain knowledge. The one who has attained knowledge and involves himself in those things, that sinfulness will cause them to forget. And this is what we see is mentioned by our Salaf Asadeh. And this is what you see and understand from the text of the book in the Sunnah. So, that is one of the most beautiful pieces of advice that we've heard from some students of knowledge as advice to avoid the sin. And, and, and countless uh, ulama have mentioned and have lectures about this topic. So it's very important to avoid the sins. It doesn't mean you cannot fight Go to war with yourself, you had enough in battling those illnesses while at the same time seeking knowledge. We never discourage you from seeking knowledge to say, No, I'm too much sin, no, Bill Axe. But you want to seek the knowledge and give up and avoid and abandon and be far away from sin. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, accept our good and forgive our evil, bless us all with ilm and nafiyah. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد